Dear children, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. Today we learn subtraction of algebraic expression. We have completed the addition. Today we will go for subtraction. This is for class 6. I have taken some questions from RSO book, exercise 8C. You have already learned subtraction in integers. So you have learned addition of exp algebraic expression only today we'll do subtraction using those two so directly i'm going to the question question number four subtract 5x from twice x so you know how to write the subtraction first you'll write from 2x will subtract your 5x so 2x subtraction 5x then if I'll take the numerical coefficient, I'll get two negative x into x. So how much is two minus five? Everybody knows it, it is negative three. So negative three x, because here negative is greater and you'll subtract, you'll write this. Next is subtract minus xy from six xy. So six y, xy will be written first, then your negative minus for subtraction, then it is minus x y. So when the term subtracted will be negative, so please put in a bracket so that it, there will be no mistake. Then what will happen? 6 x y and we are subtracting negative x y, so it will become how much? It will be positive x y. You have already learned in the integers. So it will be how much? 6xy plus 1xy, that will be 7xy. Now coming to third one, subtract 3a plus 5 from 5b. So 5b subtraction 3a. Is it possible? No. Why? Because it is, they are unlike, unlike your terms. One is b, one is a, so no more simplification. So then what will be answer? Answer will be, same 5b minus 3a. Next, next is subtract 7 minus 7x from 9y. So 9y is subtraction, put a bracket, then write down negative 7x. So how much it will be? 9y plus 7x. No more simplification because they are all like terms. So answer will be as it is. Next is subtract 10x square from negative 7x square. So negative 7x square you will write first, then your subtraction. Next is 10x square. So what is the result? Take the negative coefficients of numerical coefficients. One is negative 7, negative 10, then x square. And you know the result, negative 7, negative 10 gives you negative 17x square. Now coming to the sixth part, subtract a square minus b square from b square minus a square. So this is a binomial and I will subtract from a binomial. No problem. So I'll write b square minus a square subtraction. Put in the bracket, the terms will be subtracted. Next, change the sign. So b square minus a square. So when you will open the bracket, all the terms will change their sign. A square will be negative. And what about B square? B square will be positive because it is already negative. So it will be positive, negative, negative. It will make it positive. You have learned in the integer also. Next, we'll make them group. So one group is B square plus B square. One group is negative A square, negative A square. Now B square plus B square, how much? This is twice B square. And negative minus one, negative minus one, negative minus one, negative minus one gives you negative two. So negative a square, negative a square gives you negative two a square, not positive two a square. So try to be very careful about this. So for what I am I am repeating again. So it will be one plus one b square, and here negative one, negative one a square. So negative negative 1 is your how much? It will be negative 2. So like this we got the answer. Next question. Next question is 
क्वेश्चन ऑफ फाइव सब फाइव ए प्लस सेवन बी माइनस टू सी फ्रॉम थ्री ए माइनस सेवन बी प्लस फोर सी दैट मीन वन ट्राइनोमियल सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम अनदर ट्राइनोमियल नो प्रॉब्लम सेम कॉन्सेप्ट यू विल गेट तो थ्री ए माइनस सेवन बी प्लस फोर सी सब्ट्रैक्शन दिस इज फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन साइन देन पुर द एक्सप्रेशन व्हिच विल बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड सेवन बी माइनस टू सी नेक्स्ट वर्ड नेक्स्ट यू चेंज द Sign which is inside the bracket. When I open the bracket, I will write three times of a, seven times of b, plus four c. Here five a will be negative. Seven b will also be negative, but two c will be positive because it is already negative. So this will become positive. Next, I will group them. So one is three a minus five a. All like terms a. Next, I'll go for b negative seven b and negative seven b. Then your four c plus two c. So there are three groups. One is a, one is b, one is c. Next, coming to three a minus two a minus five a. Three a minus five a. So this will gives you minus two a because your minus three minus two this gives you two. So three minus two into a. So two a is a. Minus two a. Three minus two is minus two. Very sorry, minus two. Then it will be minus two. Next is minus seven b minus seven b. It will be minus fourteen b. It is not. Plus fourteen b because negative negative added give negative quantity. Next is four c plus two c six c. So this is the answer. One is minus two c a minus two a plus minus fourteen b plus six c. Now coming to second one. Subtract a minus two b minus three c from minus two a plus five b minus four c. So minus twice a. Plus five b minus four c. Give a subtraction sign. A minus two b minus three c. Then we will do what? We we'll change the sign. Open the bracket. Minus four c. A will be negative a. Twice b will be positive. And three c will be also positive. Now group them. Minus two a minus a. Next is plus five b plus two b. So I took first a a. Then I am going for b b. Next I will go for c c. So minus four c plus three c. So how much this will be? This will be your minus three a minus two minus one. So it will be minus three, minus three a. Next is plus five b plus two b seven b. Next is minus four plus three c. How much is the result? It will be negative one. So minus c. So this is the answer of this question. Next, subtract five x square minus three x y plus y square from seven x square minus two x y minus four y square. So seven x square minus two x y minus four y square. Then subtraction. Put the bracket. Five x square minus three x y. Plus y square. Next, we'll open the bracket, change the sign because we are subtracting. So five x square will be negative. Three x y will be positive. Y square will be negative. Then group them. 
सेवन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस फाइव एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू एक्स वाई प्लस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस फोर वाई स्क्वेर माइनस वाई स्क्वेर सो इफ यू फॉलोड यू कैन राइट डायरेक्टली सेवन माइनस फाइव गिव्स यू टू सो टू आई एक्स स्क्वेर एंड हियर नेगेटिव टू प्लस पॉजिटिव थ्री एक्स वाई सो दिस गिव्स यू हाउ मच प्लस एक्स वाई then your minus 4 minus 1 y square so you are getting 2y x square plus xy minus 5y square so this is the answer of this question next subtract 6x cube minus 7x square plus 5x minus 3 from 4 Minus five x plus x s six x s square minus eight x s cube. So I'm writing first. What I'll write? I'll write four minus five x plus six x s square minus eight x s cube. Subtracting subtraction. Then put bracket because. A subtraction we change the sign of all the terms which is to be subtracted. So let us put in a bracket so that it will be easy. Now what I'll do here? I'll do I'll arrange this according to their power. That means first I'll take x cube, then I'll take x square, then I'll take x, then I'll take constant, and This is the way of writing a algebraic expression. So minus eight x cube plus six x square negative five x plus four. Now I'm changing the sign of each. So this is negative x cube. This is positive x square. This will be negative positive a five. Oh, it was positive. Sorry, sorry. Positive, so it will be negative five x will be negative five x will be negative and three will be positive. Then what? Next arrange. You can pause the video. You can do yourself. Then you can compare the result. Negative eight x cube, negative six x cube. I take, I took all the x cube together. Then I'll come to x square, six x square plus seven x square. Then I'll come to x minus five x minus five x. Then I'll go for come for constant plus four plus three. So next go for minus eight minus six x cube. If we can understand that minus eight minus six becomes your Minus fourteen x cube. So no need of writing this step. You can omit this step. Plus six x square, seven x square makes you fourteen x square. Then here minus five minus five x plus seven. So this will be minus fourteen x square, thirteen x fourteen x cube, thirteen x square. Minus minus five, ten x, not positive ten, plus seven. So this is the answer. Now fifth part: x s cube plus two x s square y plus six x y square minus y cube from y cube minus three x y square minus four x square y. So I'll write y cube minus three x y square. Minus four x square y subtraction x cube plus two x square y plus six x y square minus y cube. So y cube minus three x y square minus four x square y minus x cube. It will be negative. 
two x square y will be negative. Six x y square will also be negative. Only y cube will be positive because it has a negative sign. Then I'll make the group y cube, another y cube. Next is minus 3xy square. This is another y xy square. This thing is different. This is 4x square y. x is a square. y has one, only one power. This is similar to this. So you have to observe this very carefully. Then only you go for it. And x cube is only single term. There is no more x cube. So let us count the terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Correct. Now group them. y cube plus y cube. 1 y cube, 1 y cube, 2 y cube. Next coming to negative 3, negative 6. x, y square. Next coming to negative 4, negative 2 x square y and minus x cube. So one more line for simplification. This will be negative 9 x y square, negative 6 x square y minus x cube is your answer. Next, sixth part. Subtracts negative 11x square y square plus 7xy minus 6 from your 9x square y square minus 6xy plus 9. So 9x square y square minus 6xy plus 9. Subtraction minus 11x square y square plus 7xy minus 6. So, next change the sign. What about your 11? It will become positive. What will be 7xy? It will be negative. And what about 6? It will become positive. Then take x square, x y, x square, y together. Then take all x, y together. Then take all number together. If you can write directly, no problem. 9 plus 11 makes you 20. 20 x square, y square. Here negative 7, negative 6 gives you negative 13. So directly you can write. You may not be slow like me. Minus 13xy plus 15 answer. Next, question number 6. Simplify. Yes, simplify. Nothing is given, add or subtract. Only you will simplify. Simplify means you will group all the similar terms or like terms. P square, P square, you will group. P, P, you will group, there are three P, then your constant, constant, you will group so that it will be a simplified form. This is the question. So let me group now. First is 2 P cube. So whatever I'll write, I'll put a tick. Then I'll go for minus 6 P cube. I put a tick. Is there any P cube? No, it is left. It is finished. Then I'll go for minus 3 P square. 3p square plus 2p square. So all p square finished. Then come to p plus 4p minus 8p plus 6p. There are three p's. Then your next number, negative 5. Then your negative 2, negative 8 plus 8. One, then count whether it is correct or not, whether we have not left anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
then next is 2 pq minus 6 pq so this will be 2 minus 6 pq next is your square minus 3 plus 2 p square then see here there are three p's so it will be 4 minus 8 plus 6 p then your number number you can simplify Minus 5 minus 2 gives you minus 7. Minus 7 plus 8 gives you 1. So, number is simplified. Now, 2 minus 6 minus 4 pq. Minus 3 plus 2 minus p square. Here, 6 plus 4, 10 minus 2, 2 p. Plus 1, answer. Another simplification. Here, x square, x, y, x, y, x, y, x square, x square, 3, y. So, I am writing first 2 x square, 2 x square, then the, here 6 x square is a similar term, like term. Then I will come to x, y, minus x, y. Find out where is more x, y, this is another x, y plus 5x1, then put plus 6x, is there any x, yes, minus 4x, then come to minus 4y, minus 4y, plus 3y, so let us check whether we have done all the thing correct or not, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right, then group them, 2 plus 2x square plus 6x square, it is 8x square. I am not simplifying more. Next is your plus 5xy minus xy. Plus 5xy minus xy. So it is simple now. It will be 4xy plus 4xy. Next come to 6x minus 4x. It will be 2 plus 2x. Next is minus 4 plus 3. Y. It will be minus Y. So, this is answer. Next, simplify X to the power 4 minus 6 X S cube minus 2 plus 2 X 7. 7 X S cube X X S square 2 X to the power 4. So, one term is for starting from X to the power 4 it so that we can understand where it is left. Next is come to this. Don't ignore this sign. Negative x to the power 4. Then come to q minus x s q. Any other q? Here it is a q. Plus 7 x s q. Any other q? No. Then coming to, I am coming to square. Square. Is there any square? Yes, this is the square. Plus 5 x s square. Is there any more square? Any more square? Any more square? No. Then coming to x plus 2x. Is there any x? Yes, there is a x here. Minus x. Then, then number. Minus 2 and plus minus 7 plus 2. So you have must have noticed that what I did, I, I arranged the x in terms of power. First is x to the power 4 then your x to the power q, then your x to the power square, then your x, then your without x, it means constant. So here x to the power 4, x to the power cancel. So we are very fond of canceling. If the same thing, positive, negative, cut it immediately. Next you go for minus 6 x s q and plus 7 x s q. Then only one x square is there, no more simplification. Then go for 2x minus x, this will be x. Next for minus 7 plus 2, this is minus 5. So it will be x s cube because minus 6 plus 7 is 1 plus 5 x square plus x minus 5. Next question number seven. From the sum of 3x square minus 5x plus 2, 
and minus 5x square minus 8x plus 6 subtract 4x square minus 9x plus 7. That means first you find the sum of this two. Then you subtract this. So I am finding the sum first. 3x square minus 5x plus 2. Sum is your minus 5x square minus 8x plus 6. So we are finding the same sum, no change in sign. When you will open the bracket, only you will change the sign in subtraction. So it will be 3x square minus 5x plus 2 minus 5x square because it has already negative sign minus 8x and plus 6. Now group them. So it will be 3x square minus 5x square minus 5x minus 8x plus 2 plus 6. So how much it will be this? This will be negative 2x square. And how much this group x? It will be negative 13x minus 5 minus 8. Minus 5 minus 8 gives you minus 13. And this will be 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Now this is the sum. From this you will subtract this. So you will write the first, you will write the sum. sum 2x square minus 13x plus 8. Subtract. 4x to the square minus 9x plus 7. So here you are subtracting. So change the sign when you open the bracket. So negative 2x square minus 13x plus 8 minus 4x square plus 9x minus 7. Group them minus 2x square minus 4x square minus 13x plus 9x plus 8 minus 7. So, how much is this? Minus 2x square minus 4x square minus 6x square minus 13x plus 9x minus 4x and 8 minus 7 is 1 plus 1. So, this is answer. <laughs> Next, question number eight. If A is equal to, the A is this uh, algebraic expression, B is another algebraic expression, minus 4x square plus xy plus y square. C is another expression, 4y square minus 3x square minus 6 plus y. You have to show that sum of A, B, C is equal to zero. So go on writing. 7x square plus 5xy minus 9y square a. Then coming to b, b is minus 4x square plus xy plus 5y square. I'm not putting a bracket because I'm not subtracting. I can write as it is 4y square minus 3x square minus 6xy. Then group them. So this, what I wrote, I wrote A plus B plus C. Then I'll group them 7x square minus 4x square minus 3x square together. Next, I'll go for xy. 5xy plus xy minus 6xy. Next, I'll go for y square minus 9y square plus 5y square. Then your plus 4y square. So 7 minus 4 minus 3. 7 minus 4 minus 3 x square. Next is your 5 plus 1 minus 6 xy. Next is minus 9 plus 5 plus 4 y square. 
Are you getting zero? Yes, you must get zero because question is like that. You have to prove that it is zero. So zero, why is there no need of writing this step? You can directly write zero plus zero plus zero. That is your zero. Question number nine. What must be added to 5x cube minus 2x square plus 6x plus 7 to make the sum x cube plus 3x square minus x plus 1? So you know that when what must be added to 5 to get 9. So what we do? We subtract 9 minus 4. 9 minus 5, that is 4. Same thing here, you will subtract. This is the sum. You have to subtract what should be added. So what should be added to 5 to get 9? So 9 minus 5. So I will get x cube plus 3x squared minus x plus 1. Subtraction. Put a bracket because we are subtracting. Minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 7. Then change the sign before opening the, opening the bracket while opening the bracket. So this will be minus 6 plus 1 minus 5x cube plus 2x squared minus 6x minus 7. Group, group them x cube minus 5x cube plus 3x square plus 2x square then minus x minus 6x then your 1 minus 7 that is minus 6. So it will be minus 4 x cube, 1 minus 5, 1 minus 5 x cube. Next is 3 plus 2, 5 x square. Then it is your minus 1 minus 6 x. That will be minus 7 x. And this is minus 6. So this is the answer. So I hope you have learned it. Rest question you can do yourself. Subscribe the channel and like the video, share it so that your friends can learn and practice more and more questions to be perfect. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching.